Good morning and welcome. So today we are going to be going over how to create a web map in ArcGIS. And without further ado, I've opened up uh, ArcGIS online. So you can navigate to ArcGIS.com and log in using your Chapman account um, that you created, the password that you created when you created the account. And first thing, we're going to go up to map. And we're going to take a look around here and see that you can add content to map by either searching for layers that are available on ArcGIS.com, browse living atlas layers, again this is through ArcGIS.com, add layer from the web if you have the URL that has uh, a layer ready made. For example, if you've saved to Google Drive and you have the link to that or add layer from file if you have a file saved locally on your machine. And so we're going to do this, add layer from file, because we're going to assume that we had some data that we downloaded from the census, a shape file and a table of data, and we joined it in ArcGIS, an ArcMap rather, and um, here's this example. So I've already opened up ArcMap and you can see that I have one layer United States feature class and this attribute table already has the data joined from this other table final um, as you can see the state here has a couple of additional fields that have been added and so these are what I want to visualize in ArcGIS online in my web map so the data are already joined um, what I need to do to get it into ArcGIS Online is to save it as a shape file. So you export this as we normally do, but instead of saving it in a geodatabase, we're going to save it as a shape file. So we're going to export all features using the coordinate system of the source data, and here we're going to save in a Windows folder. So I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it ArcGIS so that we know that it's for this exercise. And inside of that, I'm going to save this states work minutes because that is the data that have been joined to the United States. And then under save as type, make sure that it is shapefile. Uh, file and personal geodatabase feature class is what we normally use when we save into a geodatabase, but right now we're saving as shapefile. So go ahead and save, and we don't have to add the map, add the layer to the map. And here we can see in this new folder that I created, ArcGIS on desktop, now it contains all of the associated files along with the shape file. So remember, shape files come with a .prj projection file and many other associated files, and all of these need to stay together in order for a shape file to uh, be able to visualize. <clears throat> so we're going to keep these in one folder and then we're going to zip the folder and upload it to ArcGIS online. So here we have the zipped data with the shapefile and all associated files. So let's go back to ArcGIS.com, go to add layer from file, and here you can see it tells us you can upload shape files as a zip archive containing all shape files, a comma, delimit, comma delimited, so CSV or text file that contains address, place, or coordinate locations. So that would be your latitude, longitude, um, or GPX data. If you've con collected data on a GPS unit, it usually um, comes in a GPX format and so on. So we're going to select the zipped shape file and import the layer. And here we see the states have visualized, it defaults to these unique symbols, um, and here it's showing state name. That obviously doesn't make any sense, we don't need a different color for each state. So let's go ahead and visualize the attribute that we're interested in. Um, so we're going to cl 
click on Okay, so uh, I lost it for a second here because I couldn't find the field. Uh, the table is now alphabetized, and so the field I was looking for at the bottom of the table is actually in alphabetical order. So here we have married women, and that's one of the fields that I joined into the data, and it contains the number of minutes worked by married women in each state. So that's the attribute that we want to show. <clears throat> and you'll notice it defaults to whatever data classification scheme um, they choose by default, but we're going to change that subsequently. And so here we have the states visualized, and that's just the first step. We're going to add one more layer of data, and that's going to be a table containing one address. And if you recall, if we go here to add layer from file, it tells us it needs to be in CSV or text file with address, place, or coordinate locations. So in this case, we've collected data on one address. Uh, it may look familiar here. And we're going to save the Excel spreadsheet as a CSV file. <clears throat> I'm going to save it on the desktop. I wouldn't normally do that, but we have our ArcGIS folder here as well. So we're just going to save it as ArcGIS. That's a terrible naming convention. Uh, you want to name your files something descriptive about what's contained in the data. But for purposes of this exercise, we'll call it ArcGIS. So uh, we'll save here as a CSV format, so comma delimited. Call it ArcGIS. I also saved a copy in Excel format in case I had multiple tabs, CSV will only keep the first worksheet. So you want to make sure to save a copy as Excel uh, if you are using more than one worksheet. So yes, we'll keep it in CSV format. No, don't save changes. And now we're going to do the same thing. Add layer from file, choose the CSV file that we just saved, and import. And then it asks us what is in this file, coordinates, addresses, or none. Just add the table without geocoding. We're going to add addresses or places. And because we've labeled the fields in the Excel spreadsheet, it can easily find address, city, and zip code. Otherwise, we would select here which of the address field, which of these it corresponds to. And then you'll see a dot has been placed where <clears throat> that point was geocoded. <clears throat> and we can edit the symbol, edit the color, the size, transparency, and so on. Okay, so we've created our first map here. You can see that it's uh, rather meaningless in terms of the relationship between this geocoded point and the states here. Um, but we now know the two ways to upload data to ArcGIS.com, and that is as a shape file already containing your data joined and um, zipping up that shape file with all of the associated files, and also uploading a table as comma delimited, so a .csv file containing latitude, longitude, or address information. Okay, so that's enough to get us started. Good luck.